set, and he just keeps pushing around corners. Yeah, he's realized that he does have an incredible shot. He's just, he's his twin brother is one of the best BR, and he has the same shot. He just needs that confidence. And with Walshy, he was more of an objective player, and now you see he's kind of taking the role of a ghost Ayami who kind of does it all. And so the flag is down, bottom middle. Lunchbox trying to cut off APG, going for the return, and Roy is trying to jump it up. Can he stay alive? No, he cannot. The flag is down. Lunchbox trying to stop Demon D from getting the return. Demon D is there, Cloud is there, and Maniac gets the return. Again, BTH with two clutch saves at the Instinct base so far, and we're jumping on board with Cloud from Instinct. Three to two still the score with seven minutes and 20 seconds left in regulation time. And Brick is back up here with a big smile on his face. What's happening, Brick? Hey, how you doing? Heaven and Earth uh, just took a game from Triggers down, so now Triggers is up two to one. Killer Drew went 30 and 25 in that Guardian Oddball game. And on the other end, Classic just went up two to one. Chig went 24 and 18 in their victory in Guardian Oddball. So with the Triggers Down games, Heaven and Earth surprising us with the win over Status Quo. We picked it on the bracket show, but after hearing about Status Quo's success uh, during the land, we didn't think Heaven and Earth would be here right now. They're staying alive and they're fighting up against Triggers Down. Have the games been close, all three of them so far? All three have been close. Triggers Down seems to have a little too much firepower, but Nated and Karma are both veteran players, and Clutch just won a national championship, so. You can't count him out. And Killer Drew was my player to watch last night. If you didn't get a chance to see him, go back and watch the rebroadcast. Right now, though, you are checking out as Destin is sitting top middle here for Believe the Hype. Thank you, Brick, for the update. BTH trying to tie up the score three to three still, and they have Instinct all respawning their bottom B side. And we are switching over to Demon D. He has no shield bottom middle. Trying to stay alive as a pure gangster is doing work bottom eight. He's going to jump up into the instinct base. So we're switching over to Maniac as he's going to try and help APG sneak into the instinct base. APG is going to be set down. Destin pushing in now from B side. Here comes Believe the Hype. And Believe the Hype just not as crisp as they were in the first two games, Scott. No, I think that third third game loss really messed with their heads a little bit. It, it really do, it does hurt you a lot when you can't win. But like It's not possible to win by time, but you just have to regain your composure. Yeah, I was going to say it was. All right, and we are switching over to Cloud. And, guys, we are just going to chill out, sit on Cloud for a little bit here. Lots of switching going on without the HUD. I know it's hard to follow. We'll try and keep you up to date with what's going on in here. Believe the hype pushing in for a flag, but Roy is right there off the respawn to stop it. So Instinct going to get the easy return here in their base. But now Cloud is going to have to fight off this BTH onslaught coming off the respawn. He's going to be taken down. And we're jumping on board with Destin. He's running with Demon D, bottom A side. And that's four down for Instinct. But Lunchbox able to come off the respawn to pick up a clutch beatdown on Demon D. And again, believe the hype, they all push together. And it's one player from Instinct picking up a clutch kill that's going to stop them short. And all believe the hype now back in their base. Demon D was the last one alive. Here comes Destin again off the respawn. He's got Lunchbox in front of him. And we're going to Cloud sitting top middle. He just picked up the kill there on Destin. And you see Alamite setting up to pull that fourth flag for Instinct. And the flag is stopped short. Roy the last one alive and he's gonna keep this flag going. And he tossed it up. Gotta love that play. Now Lunchbox is gonna be able to put it in. And there we go, it's now four to two. Lunchbox takes it in. And now we're just one flag away for Instinct to advance to the next round. Believe the hype needs to dig deep right now, Scott. Yeah, and they overextended right there to try to get a counter cap, and it just didn't work out for him. Instinct did a great job of keeping them out of their base. And we stayed on board with the lunchbox and just taking down B ramp. Who do you want to check out, Scott? Should we go back to watch Believe the Hype? I want to throw on Maniac. Maniac it is. Nice job avoiding the plasmas. He's got three red bodies, so, and Maniac, yeah, that wasn't Instinct's base, that was his base. This is not <laughs> looking pretty for BTH. They are getting spawn slaughtered, and Elmite Warrior is on a killing spree. 
And the impressive thing about this instinct strat is that they send three guys one side and then just sneak up that last guy up the front. Now, by doing that, you trap them in that spawn, oh and you know they won't spawn there the next cycle. So you just look at the other side, and then you'll be able to kill them again and keep it going. And El Might Warrior was on the spree. He got the flag out bottom middle, tried to keep it alive, but he's taken down by a Grenade Cloud, the last one in position for Instinct to keep this one alive. Lunchbox is taken down with the flag, and now if Cloud can stay alive here, they will put this one in and win the game. And he oh. fumbled it. But El Might's there. I got your back, baby. There it is. No problem. Instinct, a little rough at the end there, but they do it. Five to two to knock Believe the Hype into the loser's bracket. Instinct will move on to play either the winner of Triggers Down or Heaven and Earth. Guys, this has been this Saturday midday broadcast. I hope you enjoyed that match between our fourth and fifth seeded teams. It was incredible. Instinct, as predicted, moves on to the next round. Uh, yeah, and Instinct really looked good as a team. You saw that they were able to suppress the firepower with their consistency, communication, and their structure. On the other side, Believe the Hype, they looked great individually. They just couldn't get it together. All right, well, we will be back in the booth at 7.30 for your MLG Saturday night broadcast. It's the winner's bracket semifinals tonight. The top four teams duking it out here on the MLG main stage. We'll be back later tonight. Have a good one.